What's up all my investors, it is Shadon. I'm back again with another Shiny Hands video to break down the complex financial world for everyday people like me and you. Y'all already know Nokia Hype God is here to give y'all the Nokia update. And we got some good news, some more good news, some very, very good news. So make sure you pay attention all the way to the end of the video. If you're, um, I, I just, I just, I just blanked out real quick. Before I get to all the details, wow, I'm human. I do got to show my appreciation to you <laughs> watching. Thank you very much. Just don't forget to thumbs up on this video. Subscribe, comment, share it, do what it do. Show love any way you can. It's always appreciated. And shout out to all my future millionaires in the Discord chat right now. I really do appreciate y'all. I know I don't always get to express my appreciation to y'all, but shout out to y'all too as well. Now, today, of course, the Nokia Hype God is here to present the greatest news of the greatest stock to come now that's here and i'm not telling you invest in it this isn't i'm not a financial advisor but i'm here to share what i know about nokia recently nokia and telecom romania just announced a rollout of their gigabit services and it sounds very confusing when i was reading the yahoo finance article i was extremely confused and i said how is my regular average Joe investor going to understand all this stuff. And in this big article, I came to a conclusion that they're really just saying one thing. They're saying one thing. They're creating access to broadband for customers in Armenia capital. So pretty much they're giving access to a wide range of space and area geographically, Armenia capital. I believe that's somewhere in Asia. If I'm not mistaken, again, Nokia benefiting from the United States sanctions on China, on Huawei and everybody else's sanctions on Huawei and China. Nokia doing it up. So pretty much this article was explaining about this gigabit service and really just saying they're just opening up the broadband for that area. Nokia will be controlling. Nokia will be assisting, facilitating the broadband access in that area. And this is yet another great sign that they're they're on their way to profitability and i wanted to show you this part in the article that i uh noticed and and it pretty much said that nokia is expected to benefit from increasing demand for next generation connectivity companies on track to achieve sustainable profitable growth and technology leadership this is what i've been telling y'all for a minute I seen this ahead of time. I'm not saying I'm Houdini, I got magical powers, but let me just finish off this last part of this article where it says Nokia shares have gained 38% in the past six months compared with 5.4% growth in the industry. You mean to tell me Nokia is beating everybody out by 30% this year? Isn't that, isn't that, if you hold a Nokia right now, please, all my Nokia. Real Nokia fam, show out in the comments right now because you deserve a pat on your back for holding, for believing in Nokia when nobody believed in it. Still, to this day, people don't believe in it, but it's still going to do wonders. It's still going to do its thing. And, uh, you know, me, I'm going to be here continuously hyping it up because that's that's what I'm here to do. I'm I'm still going to put that phone in the background. I'm just waiting for the day that it, it, gets, it gets ran up a little bit more. Let's take a quick look at the chart real quick since we're here, since we're already here. Um, I've already done these zones in some of my past videos. I, I kind of try to keep the same zone so it's like a continuous video from video to video. So make sure you check out all the videos. You feel me? Whenever you get a chance, just binge them all. Um, <laughs> as you may see right here on this chart, um, you see my two zones, my bottom zone and my top zone. And Nokia seems to be creeping up to enter into that mid-rangey zone. And I just want to say one thing. I'm going to share some advice from me to you. I'm not saying you have to listen to this. I usually don't like getting in between the zones. In between the zones, you never really know what's going to go. I mean, I guess you can scalp. You could definitely scalp. There's definitely opportunities there. But for me, I like to kind of know where things are going. When it's ranging, I don't know where things are going. I don't have the inside information. I'm a regular person. I don't know nobody at Nokia. I ain't, don't got no one's number, email on speed dial. So 
I don't like to really gamble when stuff is ranging, when stuff is kind of like indecisive, doesn't know where to go. So I'm going to I'm going to continue watching this because if you start to see some movement upward, um, that's a good sign that it's going to touch the top half of the zone, which would be a good opportunity to scalp. Perfect opportunity to scalp. Uh, per perfect opportunity for a short term investment. Um, but there's a lot of other details you have to be looking at, you know, news, uh, chart, candlestick. There's a lot of things you can, you got to do to, to kind of see that one through. Um, but I did want to point that out that it's at the bottom of the zone and it has some upward movement. So it could be hitting the top of the zone, squeezing. Maybe it squeezes higher. I'm always praying for more of a squeeze. I'm always, I know if you're a holder, you're praying for more of a squeeze. So you never know. You never know. So make sure you continue to hold on that Nokia stock. Continue to add on as much as you can when you get the chance, when it dips, when it pulls back. Continue looking at the chart. Maybe if you, even if you're not a chart specialist, just look at it. Look at the chart. Read whatever articles you can. Keep doing your due diligence in Nokia. I'm going to continue to do that the same. Bring that information to you so that you can win with me because I'm going to win on this stock. One day, I'm going to say this stock made me a million dollars. Or half a million dollars. One or the other. I'm hoping both. Right? And I hope that's both for you too. But I appreciate you for watching. I'm going to finish this video off by saying that if you're interested in joining the investors Discord group chat we have going on right now, shoot me a DM above. I will get you all the details needed to join. We're just a group of investors looking to build generational wealth through sharing resources, information, and having daily financial conversations. That last part is very important, y'all daily financial conversations. Y'all have a good day. I'll check y'all out tomorrow.